Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School, and this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about the HP Tuner Scanner and using the long-term fuel trim plus short-term fuel trim math. All right, so there is this thing in the HP Tuner Scanner called the LTFT plus STFT math. Now, it's something that you can select when you're setting up your graph, when you're actually trying to record your usually idle and part throttle data. Now, this math can be really, really helpful when you have cars that have fuel trims that are very far off. But to understand why it's helpful, I have to kind of go into some background information on how the fuel trims work. So basically, there's the short-term fuel trims, which are constantly making adjustments to the fueling all of the time. The long-term fuel trims then come in afterwards and say, on average, these short terms are making a, let's say, 10% positive change. And then the long terms or take that over, and you'll see the short terms slowly get closer to zero. That's how you know you're getting good fuel trim data, is the short terms are close to zero, and the long terms have all of the error. So what happens when you have a car that's fueling is really far off, the long terms can only go so high. So what's going to happen is about 23% on most GM vehicles, the long term fuel trims can't make any more correction. And so what you'll see is the short term fuel trims actually aren't close to zero anymore. They'll be like five or eight or sometimes even 10, 15%. The way you have to look at that is that's a total error. So it's the 23% you see in the long term plus whatever you see in the short term. Now, when you're doing your tuning, you're gonna make the adjustment based off just the long term. By doing that, you're only gonna get some of the error because some of that error is still into the short terms because it can't transfer over yet. So using this LTFT plus STFT math is gonna give you the ability to capture more of that error the first time you make your upload to your tune change. All right, so here we are in the HP Tuner scanner and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the maths work inside the scanner and how to actually select it in your graph. So the first thing you need to realize is a math is something that is calculated by HP Tuners in the background. Uh, and it does that calculations based off of the parameters that you've selected here. Sometimes it's not always a calculation, sometimes it's also a conversion. It'll convert one value to a different one and so on and so forth. So you have to realize that there is no way for you to select a math over here. Like if I was to right click over here, all I have in the add channel section is our typical stuff. There's nothing in here, no folder that says maths. And that's because this is just what is being calculated by the math. Now, if we go over to our graph area, we can right click, go to graphs layout. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new graph. So we're gonna go to add graph and then add table. Once we're here, we can click on the parameter and normally we'd be selecting long-term fuel trim over here. So it's usually located under engine then fuel, so on and so forth. But if we scroll all the way down, we can see in this section, we actually have math folders. Now what we can do is we can go in here and select fuel trims and select this LTFT plus STFT. We double click on that, we can see that it's now selected up here. So now this is gonna give us good information with LTFT plus STFT. And you can go ahead and fill out the rest of this like you normally would. And this is gonna be primarily for your idle and part throttle tuning. Now you need to realize because you are trying to do a calculation with these two PIDs, if you don't have those PIDs selected over here, then you're going to run into problems. It's not gonna work like it should. Like if you only have long terms over here and your short terms aren't recording, then this graph will not work. So you need to make sure whatever your math is, whether it's this or anything else, that you first have that information recording over here. Now also realize that just because you selected this, it's not the best way to tune all the time. This PID or this math right here works really, really well when you have your fuel trims maxed out. It's not good for tuning all the time and really dialing in the car and doing fine tuning. The reason for that is the short term fuel trims can be very sporadic and it's gonna put some weird information inside this graph and kind of make your tuning a little bit difficult. So as soon as your fuel trims aren't pegged anymore, you should go back in here and select this back to just long term fuel trim for consistency's sake. It's gonna make your tuning a little bit easier and that's something that you just have to keep in mind as you're moving forward. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our social media pages, and as always, stay tuned.